Good evening, Internet. This is the second part of my uh, solution to the first problem on ProjectEuler.net. In the first video, uh, we used programming and C and C++ to solve the problem, uh, but this happens to be one of the few problems that you can actually solve using analysis alone. And so in this video, uh, we're going to take that approach to the problem. Um, you might remember the problem which we have listed here at the top of the screen is to find the sum of all multiples in 3 and 5 less than 1,000. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, let's see. So um, in the previous video, we set up our, our directory structure here. And um, let's just open up Emacs. And uh, I had set up this template directory um, with the intention of um, copying that for each problem, but I actually forgot to do that, so uh, we're, we're going to fix that later. But for now, uh, let's just open this uh, you know, analysis.txt, and um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to take the um, natural numbers and break them into blocks of 15. Um, and the reason for this will become apparent in a, in a few minutes, but for now let's just consider um, solving this problem um, for a single block of 15 numbers. So you might you might notice that the um, the first number in the block um, you'll be able to write as 15k for some um, for some integer k, uh, and then we can consider the other the other numbers in the block that are divisible by either three or five. So you might have you know 15k plus three, uh, 15k. Oops, uh, plus 5, uh, 15k plus 6, 15k plus uh, 9, 15k plus uh, 10, and 15k plus 12. Um, you might be tempted to include uh, 15k plus 15, but that's actually uh, part of the next block of 15 numbers, so we don't, we don't want to include that. Um, so now, uh, so those are our, our uh, seven numbers in our block of uh, 15, and um, if we add those up, let me just pull up a calculator here. So we're going to have uh, you know, 15 times 7, and uh, it's going to give us uh, 105k. And we've got uh, plus, you know, oops, three plus five plus six plus nine plus ten plus twelve. So um, you know you can you can do this in your head. Um, it's not that it's not that hard, but it's also really easy to just check with a calculator and make sure you don't mess it up. Um, so uh, yeah, we're just going to do it that way. So we are 105k plus 45. So, so 15k is going to be the first number in our block of 15. And uh, depending on the value of that integer k, um, we'll be able to calculate our, our sum for the block, which is just going to be 105k uh, plus 45. Um, so now, depending on so let's suppose that we were we were solving this problem for um, n equals 150. So then we would have 10 blocks of uh, of 15, and we would we could find the sum for each block of 15, and then sum that across all 10 blocks, and that would give us our answer. Um, well, we can actually uh, uh, do a little bit more analysis uh, before we start start plugging in and chugging the numbers here. So um, so first of all notice that um, if n is the uh, is the the upper bound so either 10 or uh, or 1000 in the original problem, then let's let's say um, let's just let b equals the um, say the floor of n over 15. Um, so that is, uh, b is going to be the number of whole blocks of 15 um, less than less than n. Uh, n. Um, so then we can write this um, expression for the the sum over those uh, b blocks 
um, if we say, you know, our sum is going to be like the, uh, you know, sum from 0 to um, like b minus 1. Um, and this isn't any particular syntax. This is um, just my way of doing uh, uh, math in a, a text file. I actually prefer to work with uh, pen and paper, but um, the camera setup is a, is a little bit tricky. So we're, we're going to take this approach. Um, so we're going to be summing from 0 to b minus 1 of um, you know, 105i uh, plus 45. I, let's actually be, uh, let's be consistent here. Let's make this, let's make this k just to uh, be consistent there. OK, so that's going to be our sum. Uh, but we'll notice that this, this 40 plus 45 here does not depend on the uh, the index there, so we can actually break that out. So we can say uh, sum you know, from uh, 0 to b minus 1 of 105k uh, is going to be equal to, um, or, or rather, uh, it's going to be that plus um, 45b. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to break out that that plus 45 because it's it's going to be plus 45 for every block, and we have uh, b blocks in total. Um, then we can also factor out uh, a 105. So we can say 105 times the sum uh, times the sum k going from 0 to b minus 1 of k plus 45b. Now, uh, this expression here, the sum from, so this is going to be the, the sum from you know, 0 to b minus 1 of just k. So that's going to be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, all the way up to, to b minus 1. And um, you might recognize those, um, that sum is, uh, is the triangle numbers. Um, and there's a nice closed formula for that. And uh, if you're like me, you might occasionally, um, it, it's, it's, there's a, an off by one error you have to be careful not to make, which is uh, the formula changes slightly depending on whether you're starting at, um, at zero or one. Um, but the, uh, the formula is either going to be um, n times n plus one over two or n uh, times n minus 1 over 2, where n is the number of, it's the number of integers that you're adding, um, but whether 0 is included or not, um, the formula is going to change. So in this case, 0 is included, and so um, this is all going to be equal to 105 times um, b times b minus 1 uh, over 2 plus uh, 45b. And we can check that. It's always, uh, it's always a good idea if you can, um, especially when you're working through uh, some long analysis like this. Um, if you get a chance to check your work and make sure that you're, that you're, you're doing it correctly, um, it's always a good idea. So um, in particular with this formula, uh, we're adding you know, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Well, that's, that's equal to 6. The first four terms, if you add them up, um, that gives you 6. And so 4 times 3 over 2, that also gives you 6. And so we can be sure that we've got the right uh, formula here. And if you want to, you can check with, with more values. With, um, you know, if, you add, if you add 4, um, uh, then that gives you 10, and that also matches, uh, matches the formula. Um, okay, so in this case, uh, that's going to give us our, uh, our sum across our B block. So now, um, let's first look at, well, our, uh, our, 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 our example input that they give us is actually not uh, very interesting because it doesn't even include one whole block. Um, they, they just have a sum across, uh, or, or, or n is equal to, to 10. Um, but let's, let's suppose um, we can sort of uh, still get a test input because um, they say, you know, sum 
uh, you know, or rather if n is equal to 10, then we expect our sum is going to be 23. Um, and so if we if we look at what the sum across the first block was, well, we already we already we already have an expression for that. If you know if if the first number is zero, well, then k is going to be zero, and then this expression is going to be equal to 45. Um, and so we would expect the sum uh, over the multiples of three and five less than 10 um, to give us 45. Um, so if we have n equals 10, then for um, you know n, um, if if our expression matches their test input, then you know for n equals um, n equals uh, 10, uh, or, or rather um, you know n equals 15, we should have uh, sum is equal to 23 plus. Um, so 10 was not included, so we need to include 10. Uh, we need to include uh, 12, and I believe the, that should be it. Yeah, so if you add those up, you'll notice that gives us our, our expected answer of 45. Um, so that's sort of just a quick check to make sure that, um, that our formula here um, matches what we expect. So now if we go back to our you know, the result of our, our analysis over here. This is for um, the result of, of summing across a whole number of blocks. Um, and so if our, uh, let me just pull up our calculator again. Um, if we have, uh, you know, 1,000, well, it obviously it doesn't divide evenly by 15, but it's going to give us, we're going to have 66 blocks there. Um, and the the top end of the of the the last block is going to be 990, um, not including uh, 990 itself. Um, so if we take uh, if we take 66 and we plug it into our formula here, um, so then we're going to have uh, 105 uh, times 66 times 65 divided by two, uh, and then we have uh, plus 45 times 66. So that gives us uh, this result here. So for uh, n equals 1,000, actually no, n equals 990, we have um, our sum is going to be that. Um, now, again, there are a few more integers that we have to include. So for n equals 1,000, then we're going to have that same number. Um, Uh, plus, well, let's see, we have to include uh, 990 um, uh, yeah, divisible by both 3 and 5. Um, then we have uh, 993, uh, 995, 996, uh, plus 999, um, and uh, uh, and then we do not include uh, 1,000 proper. So uh, if we go back here and we add our uh, previous result plus uh, 990 plus uh, 993 plus 995 plus 996 plus 999 gives us uh, 233,168. So I uh, will make note of that. And if we go back to the archives here and check the first problem again, we see our result 233,168. Um, so that wraps it up for uh, the first problem. And for the next video, I'll continue with problem number two.